This is code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 11, Wall Loops, Puzzle 9. Starting Condition. We have seen that loops can run infinitely. On the last level, we saw that there is also a chance that a loop never runs at all. If the condition of a wall loop starts out false, then the loop will never run. We fix this problem, we fix this problem in the last exercise by displaying the value of num, which was the variable, in two places, before the loop and in the loop. Duplicate, duplicating code is generally a bad strategy. So the question is, can we be a litter, a little clever and get into the loop? And, and, and in the loop. and get into the loop without missing any values? The answer is yes. The solution to initialize the values used in our Boolean expression so that our certain, so that we are certain it evaluates to true the first time the loop checks. For example, if the loop condition is wall num not equal to six, you could initialize num to anything other than six, so so you'd know that it'd get into the loop. If you use this te technique though, you need to make sure that the value of num right away, you would need to make sure to set the value of num right away inside your loop. You'd probably want to use nonsense values like negative one so that if you ever see that displayed, it will be obvious something is wrong and be easier to debug. Starter code is provided, which creates the wall loop that never runs. Run the program once to see if the loop is never entered. Yep. Fix the program by changing the initial value of num to a nonsense value, such as negative one. I often use negative one in programs myself. So. Yep. So it will always drop into this. It will always say not and then run. Oh, cool. Let's try it. Ta-da! Let's keep going.